my peoples my peoples peoples and my plant people so how y'all doing what's going on with you okay I hear you I feel that so if you kind of notice behind me it's a little different right so I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to you. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Come here, come here, come here. Let me talk to you. So, on yesterday, I started uh, pretty much making a video of how um, I want to just like remodel pretty much my plant room and stuff like that. So I got a chance to actually do that. So um, right now I'm actually uh, editing the video, and I noticed that it is pretty long. So. What I'm gonna do is do it in two different videos or whatnot. So um, that's gonna be dope for y'all though, right? Cause y'all get to see uh, in two different videos how I'm kind of like switching this around or whatnot. And I try to be kind of in depth, give a little bit of thought or stuff like that. I'm still not finished, which is really great. Um, I get a chance to um, pretty much switch both of my sides over here and uh yeah you get a chance to see that or whatnot um so i'm actually really really happy right now you kind of see there's some different plants up there and stuff like that it's a little bit more spacious if you can kind of check that out um and right now i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna show you exactly how i got that so yeah go ahead and stay tuned
Okay, so um, I got a few things I need to repot. So what I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and repot them. I'll chat a little bit. And then for some of it, like my, uh, so sometimes when you get rid of plants, you just kind of have the vessel still there and not taking the plant out and uh, you know, get rid of the soil and stuff like that. So I have some soil or soilless soil, um, chunky mix. I have some LECA that I really need to just kind of put it where it need to be um, and clean them off and stuff like that. Uh, pretty much like, uh, you know, renew my substrate and stuff like that. So that's going to be something I'm going to do right now. Um, yeah, so I'll go ahead and get to it. I'll talk about each one and it just wasn't doing good and all the other stuff like that. So that's what we're going to do right now. So cool. Let me so this little sad puppy right here is the citrus um that probably came out maybe maybe about a year ago now and uh it has not been doing good so i put it in this long pot because from my understanding it was supposed to be a crawler but i think i was maybe too novice on it in a sense that um i should have just kept letting it grow in the medium that it was and i really didn't um i just i'm just pulling these cattle fields off and i really didn't give it a chance to really like grow so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to take this leaf off here 
I'm gonna allow this leaf to grow. Once I take it out, I will clean up the substrate and stuff like that, um, clean it off or whatnot, cause it's probably really dry and put it in some fresh new substrate. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. When you go to box stores and you get a chance to get these little boxes right here, these are really good for, um, these are really good for uh, potting and stuff like that, especially like dry mixes. I wouldn't use it probably for like my wet mixes just because, I mean, it's, it's kind of obvious that um, it'll wet the box up, you know? So this shouldn't be too hard to get out. But yeah, so the reason that I'm going to, oh, well, it's got some good roots for sure. I'm probably have to cut down some of these roots um, because I want to kind of put it in a smaller vessel or I might put it in a smaller vessel or whatnot. So let's see what we got going on here. Uh, but yeah, the reason that I'm going to get rid of that um, leaf right there for the reason that uh, once a plant knows that like a leaf is down or at least this is my understanding of it once a plant knows that like uh they have like a leaf down then it pushes out the other leaves so sometimes taking off um certain leaves will activate the rest of it and i uh especially seen that because of my painted lady if you seen my painted lady when i first got it and brought it home you would know that like it was uh burnt to a crisp i pretty much um got the pink princess i had a session that day the plant was in the car and uh i believe i had my sunroof up and no windows down or whatnot so so it can be a little breather in there or whatnot and it got like really really hot and that messed up a lot of the um that messed up a lot of the roots no it messed up a lot of the leaves i'm sorry it burnt a lot of the leaves and right now my painted lady is looking and doing just fine so uh, from that i've been noticing that i'm just going to start to do that if uh, the leaves are looking real bad or i'm not really satisfied with it sometimes we look at our plants and go yeah this isn't it you know um and that's okay and that's okay that's uh you know your preference doesn't matter what i think what the next youtuber thinks or anybody else thinks you know if you're happy with your plants that's when your plants going to be at their best at least from my understanding and that's how i am and yeah, these are some really good roots um i definitely feel water on them like they're moist and stuff like that um, but I may have to cut it down just to fit it in. So, like I said, I'm gonna get rid of this. So, cool there. This right here should give me another leaf. Um, or another leaf should pop out of here somewhere. I see where other leaves can pop out. So, yeah, I think it should be okay. I think it should be okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down here. More than likely reuse that again. Go ahead and get my soilless mix. I got all this liquor down here. So this here is my soilless mix. Um, pretty much has reptile bark, perlite, horticultural charcoal, it has some um, some little fertilizer balls. The um, y'all know the fertilizer balls. The um, some orchid bark in here, and I got a little bit of sphagnum moss in there. So this right here is pretty big, and I don't want to cut off all the roots. Well, I feel like that should be okay, right? Or would y'all, well, I'll keep it like this. I'm not too bothered by it. So I'm gonna just put some soil down at the bottom or this chunky mix down at the bottom. Nah, cause if I don't cut off the roots, then it won't, um, I need it to uh, activate a lot or whatnot. So I gotta, 
I gotta cut down some. And it's okay, because the roots will come back. The roots will come back, people. The roots will come back. So I'm gonna cut off maybe about right here. So that should be good enough to pot up. Still got some of the good roots, even the air roots coming from the top. So that should be pretty good. And when I put it in, I guess I just kind of like spin it so that all the roots can go down to the bottom. Cause if not, they will not. So I'm keeping the plant up at the top. When I put the soil in there, I go ahead and uh, knock on it a little bit just so it can fit where it can. Cause I don't want too many spaces in here. This is very, um, this is very, uh, it's really good on when I water it or whatnot. Water is just gonna drain straight through it. So that's another reason I like this mix. Like it stays moist, but it won't stay wet. So for people who have bad um, watering habits, these type of mixes, these chunky mixes are really good. As you can see, I keep this moist or whatnot. I don't know if you can actually really see it, but it's moist in there. So I never keep this dry. So I'm more than likely gonna put this in my Ikea uh, cabinet or whatnot, because I know it'll have a steady moisture and, um, and it'll have really good light or whatnot. So I'm moving things out of the Ikea greenhouse. I'm moving things into the Ikea greenhouse. So I'm pretty happy about it right now. Um, let me get a tag on it and then we'll go to the next plant. So I have my tag on it um, and I'll get, keep you updated on it for sure. So this is plant number one. Next plant we have here is the Monstera Peru. On here it says uh, Philodendron Green Galaxy. Got it from a big box store, so I won't even say the name of it because that would be uh, a little shameful. But this is a Peru. Um, I'm not exactly sure what a fill in the green gas would look like, but uh, I'm really no good with these plants. And then probably because I kept it in here that uh, it probably wasn't doing good. So it's good that I'm repotting this. I'm gonna chop this up, see what I can do with it. If I can only get one leaf out of it, I will be satisfied. Cause once I repot it, then I know I'll uh, be in better, better shape with it. Anything else I'll probably just propagate it maybe. Cause I do like this plant. I'm just really no good at it. There's roots on it. Yeah, this, uh, this looks like a, um, peat moss really good for water retentiveness but some of these are dead so this right here probably can be maybe chopped up probably put in some water and it'll grow but I wouldn't want it really this long so I'll probably cut it up yeah I probably can repot it to tell you the truth let me see. So I'll cut it, cause it look like roots right there. Look like something there. So I'll cut it about right here. And then I'll repot this one here. This here, let me see. This look like this was the leaf. Look like that's kind of bad. There are roots. I don't know if this one is really manageable at best. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that one. This one here, I can see something. So I'll repot this one as well. And then for this one, at least it has one leaf on it. So let me see, I definitely don't want all of this on here so i'll probably cut it right here there is another root there so let me see where it can i can see where it can come out right there so i'll go ahead and cut this here 
and then I'll repot that just like that. And then for this one, let me see. So a lot of the roots are down here, but that's gonna look really crazy. Um, let me see, let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just cut this off right here. Okay. So I got a couple pieces that I can try to savage. The rest of this right here is going to the trash. I usually um, don't keep the soil from, um, I don't usually keep the soil from big box stores because they kind of use a, a generic brand, it seems like. Like if I go to um, Flora Fauna, I know that they make their own mix. And the reason that I know that they make their own mix because I see them, I see it in the barrel. Um, so I see them actually mixing it up together. So what I want to do is, I would definitely like to put this one in one by itself. It's definitely kind of dusty. Um, I like to put this one in one by itself. And then put the rest of those in one itself. So going back to my potting mix right here. Put this down at the bottom. I'll put that in there. Maybe I can put, let me see. this root off right here I'll put this one in there let me see and which way is up I see something right there so I'll put this in there and hopefully it gives me something what I'll probably do with this is put it also in my Ikea greenhouse I'm gonna be taking a lot of things out of there so I'll have a lot more space to do it. And I'll probably need to go ahead and spray down that leaf. And the reason I wanna spray down that leaf cause it looked like it was spider mites on it. So I definitely rather have spider mites than thrips any day. How y'all feel about that? Would y'all rather have spider mites or thrips? Okay, so now we have a uh, green galaxy, whatever they said, uh, or you call it Peru. I don't care what you call it. But yeah, we got a nice little leaf right there. So I'm satisfied with that. And then we have these bad boys here. Um, let me see what I would do with these. Oh no. Okay. So this for sure is really long. So I'll cut that down right there. I have this pot here that I use, pretty much an orchid pot. And then, do I see something? Looks like something right there. So let me see what this looks like. Okay. And then this one here. If nothing grows from it, it's quite fine. I will live. But it definitely would be a cool story to say I revived it. This has more holes for sure, so a lot more stuff will come out of there. But I feel like I want to cut it again. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cut it about right here. 
and then with this i'll dig this in there too because i see it has like roots on it so maybe something might come out of there this could be a very hopeful wishful type of mix here or batch here so i'm gonna get a label on it and then uh, we're gonna go to the next plant so this sad puppy right here you won't even believe it um it kind of makes me sad is my um i believe i call it like the platinum or whatnot so i wasn't taking the best care of it and um i think even from the beginning it started to kind of dwell and stuff like that so what i did was just it had about about six leaves on it um so it's not like everything just died on it but i just were not happy with the leaves and i would have um showed a video of it but at that time i think i was just done with it so um what i did was just go ahead and just rip up all the leaves like i said with my painted lady she just showed me that um if you just rip off all the leaves it will activate in other places i'm gonna show you my paint first uh, so this here is my painted lady and she's doing a ton better a ton better uh, a lot of the things were activating um down here because i took a lot of the leaves off and they started to activate down here now she's starting to grow up there which is really good i also have like kiki paste so um once i get done with all the stuff here i'm going to go ahead and you know hit it with some kiki paste so it can start to fill in down here i feel like kiki paste works y'all can tell me what y'all think about it but i definitely have seen some good stuff happening with other people and myself with kiki paste so I would love to know your uh, opinion on Kiki Paste. So, but that brings me back to this fella right here. So I'm going to try to, um, I'm going to try to pretty much clean it up, take it out of here and put it in some soil. Um, I will try to purchase me another one. So maybe I might go on the live or I might just go straight to the source of, um, where did I get this from? I think I got this either from Echo Genera or Tropicals, but I think I'll try to go to Tropicals and get me um, a Platinum. So yeah, it makes me sad. It definitely, definitely makes me sad. Yeah, so it definitely makes me sad. Um, it wasn't growing on this pole. Um, maybe some roots at the bottom probably grew in here, but um, she was not doing her best. The chunk is still strong, which is good. Um, yeah, it was growing at the bottom of this right here. I'm just gonna put another plant on here or whatnot. I definitely have a lot of plants that will benefit from a pole like this right here. This is like, the hard chicken wire or whatnot i like to use the harder wire instead of the plastic just because it's able to stand up a little bit more and if i wanted to add another one on i feel like it's a little bit stronger i could just add a bamboo like a little bamboo pole um and add to the top if you ever see uh sydney the plant guy or whatnot that's pretty much what he does so i like to emulate him in that sense so um, this will definitely go on another plant very, very soon. And that pot right there, I'm going to put another allocation there because my allocations are, my allocation regal is just insane. So um, the chunk here looks real good. A lot, a lot of roots on here. So that's really good. It's kind of cool. These roots are dark roots. So um let's see so i'm gonna put this in a chunky mix or whatnot see what that does i will put this into um i will put this in my ikea greenhouse like i said i'm taking a lot of things out of my ikea greenhouse so i'm able to put some things in there um as you will see today and tomorrow so um Things progress, things die off, they're plants, so 
everything I have will not be perfect, so it's okay. I have this here pot, which is about maybe what a 10 inch, maybe, maybe a little bit less than. So I have this here. I'm probably gonna cut some roots off. Let me see, first year I need to probably cut that root off there. Probably cut it to maybe hacking it. And in between takes, I do have my Clorox wipes so I can clean my uh, scissors off. So I'm not spreading any germs to any other plants that, you know, I don't want my plants to get, uh, I don't want my plants to get sick or whatnot. So, here we go again with my uh, chunky mix. I love this mix, absolutely, absolutely love this mix. Most things I feel like I've been growing in it have really been doing good. Um, I can water it like every kind of other day and it is good or whatnot, if that's what I please, if, if that's what I want to do. Um, so it's been working out really, really well. So I am on the team of Chunky Mix for sure. No more soil. should be pretty good I actually would love to like cut this but right now I just don't have the energy but once they give me a leaf I probably will just kind of like hmm because I feel like if I cut it right it should just continue growing right or do you think it would die you know what I'm just gonna go, go ahead and cut it. You know why I'm gonna do that? Because experiment. I'd rather do it with my plants than you do it with your plants. Um, <laughs> I will be the sacrifice, you know what I'm saying? I see a couple of things that can grow there. It is like roots along the backside. So let me see, I'm gonna cut it I don't want to cut a leaf, so I got to make sure it look like along this line should be good. So I'm going to go ahead and, ooh, that's thick. I'm going to get some, um, and it's funny, I haven't done it for the other stuff, but I'm going to grab some um, powder, put, put it on the bottom of this. So here, I just have a rooting uh, powder. You can also use cinnamon if you have it. Um, you can use charcoal if you have it. Um, you can use candle wax. It, it, you know, there's a various amount of things that people use in order to just seal it off. Um, that's all I'm pretty much doing so it doesn't get infected. So that's my idea. So I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put these both in the same mix because I am kind of limited on space or I'm limiting space really. Um, so I can buy more plants. I did see uh, Lex has been buying like some new plants and uh, she got the Syngonium Panda which I'm like, I really want to get that. Could it look dope? And it's called a panda. So if that plant was in like black and white, 
sick. Sick. That would be absolutely sick. So, fill this up here. So now I have two for one here. Hopefully they um, survive because I want them to survive for sure. Um, yeah, I want them to survive. So let me see. So it's supposed to be what? A guapo now, right? Philodendron and guapo. And we'll put the date today. Okay. And then of course, I'll keep you updated on this. Uh, I'm sure it'll need a little time to really get itself together. But you know, I'll keep you guys updated either way it goes. Okay. So this here is my Regal. And like I said, she is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and she is big. So these things get really, really big. I can remember when it was really tiny and I can't remember when it took off. So I feel like a lot of these leaves are falling off because they can't really support it in this kind of smaller vessel. Um, so what I'm going to do is, of course, I'm going to take those leaves off and I'm going to put it in a bigger pot in medium. Um, I'm still going to use LECA because I just like to use LECA in, uh, with my alocasias. I find that they do the best because they are very thirsty plants. Um, I see a lot of bulbs come out. Um, I just see a lot of positivity in it. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, transfer this into this one. So I got me a little bucket right here. And this is what the rubricantum that was the last plant that I took out because I got it on the bottom. So I call it a, a I mean, a Columbia, whatever. So when I got it, I must have uh, bought it as a rubricantum. So that's what I'm gonna call it. So, and I see like they have this little leaf right here. So I'm gonna make sure I don't disturb it too much. Um, and I do believe that uh, alocasias like to be root bound, but it's not being supported. So I wanna support it at the same time as give it room to be pot bound. So hopefully I don't have to repot this one anytime soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off this one here. And I think it'd be okay that I took that off because if you know alocasia or if you're an alocasia person, then you know that that's just how it is. Even if the plant um, hasn't died, that's just, you know, they're just the belly of the beast for this plant here, so. It's definitely moist because that leaf there was extra dang on chunky. Usually these things will dry off. Um, so I'm just doing the best I can to get this out of here. So it's not giving it too much energy or too much of its time. So once that dry off, then of course, uh, it'll look a bit, a little bit better. So I don't see me having to move any of this stuff here. So what I'm gonna do is just throw Lekka down at the bottom um, and just kind of see where I can put this at top. And then I'll throw sphagnum moss on top of it. So um, here, I pretty much just kind of wash my Lekka. That was gonna be a question that I was gonna ask. How do you guys um, deal with your Lekka? So for me, um, I put it in kind of like a pot light or a, what this is, a, a bowl. I throw in some um, soap or whatnot. I just uh, kind of rinse it around with my hand. I just let it sit there maybe for, maybe about overnight or if I forget it, then it just kind of sits until I need it. Um, and then I rinse it out. Um, but I've seen other people do other things. So I would really like to know what you guys do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour this in there. I'm gonna uh, play some music cause this right here can get a little loud. So give me a moment.
Whew. I will tell you something. I was uh, definitely not expecting to do all that work for this regal. And I knew I said that I wouldn't take uh, the little baby out, but um, I guess I had a choice. I just chose to kind of take it out so that independently um, I can stand this up. As you kind of see, it's very heavy. Uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, a bigger pot or pot in medium, like the, the chunky mix would maybe made it a little bit heavier. But um, yeah, I'm gonna keep it like this. I may have to stand it up with like a stick or something like that. But for right now, it's uh, gonna do good. I'm gonna be placing it in a new position. So I should be good. One thing I don't like is for my nails to be dirty. So that's why I'm like cleaning my nails out. But um, so we just have, and then I, uh, you see, I kind of cleaned off the corns. I've never done that before. I always see um, Charmaine do it on Unplanned Parenthood and she seemed to get really good results. So I guess I'll start to do that with my allocation bulbs or whatnot. You know, it took me, you know, obviously you seen it, it didn't take me that much to just scrape it off with my fingernails. My fingernails grow pretty long, so it's whatever. But I now have my Regal uh, set up in this uh, medium right here. So I'm really good, uh, really happy about it. And then I have two bulbs plus this little baby right here. So uh, I'm very, very happy. So we just got one more thing to repot and then I got a dip out and go um do some more therapy with my uh clients and whatnot so i'm gonna get this cleaned up and i'll bring you one more okay so this last plant i have here was definitely gonna be a favorite of mine um it still is uh i found it um during a tropicals i believe tropicals was down here or was it ecuador uh, ecuador i believe it's echo journal echo journal just because uh the font on the nameplate so i got this plant from echo general probably even a year ago maybe, uh, if not a couple months ago. And obviously it's not doing its best. It was looking really good. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, dried up, maybe spider mites, all that stuff like that. So what I did with the other plants, pretty much ripping off the leaves, I'm gonna do the exact same thing with this one. And then I'm gonna also go ahead and um, chop off, or chop the chunk. This one is the philodendron uranense or whatnot. Um, you can probably see in my earlier videos that this plant was doing pretty well um what happened to it or how i neglected it i guess i i couldn't tell you what was going on so um what i am going to do is go ahead and get it out of this little moss cup i call it a moss cup um so i'm gonna get it out of here see if anything kind of grew out of it that'd be kind of great if it did if it did not then you know we will figure it out. One thing about it is we don't figure it out, right? So, let's see, get this little cup off of here. Go ahead and take this moss off. There's some roots in here. So I'm, I'm definitely gonna chop this. Yeah, for sure I'm gonna chop this. This is actually pretty good. One thing uh, that I'm learning with uh, doing kind of like moss cups and stuff like that, I think um, fur bark is probably a better option. I have not tried it. If you've tried to root in fur bark, please write down in the description uh, what that's like for you. If you are enjoying it a little bit better than moss or whatnot. And it's not that moss doesn't work. It's just that getting this off like this right here is, sometimes it can be a pain in the butt especially if you want to transfer it to say Lekka, something like that, right? Then of course, this right here is in, you know, this is kind of in the way or whatnot. So I ain't gonna complain about it. Oh man, that was a lot. Okay. Uh, go ahead and grab this so we can dump out the soil. Okay. Very moist. I can't remember the last time I actually uh, wet this up. Maybe about a maybe a week ago. So it's still moist, still good. Just need a little shake. Okay. Looking roots are okay. It, this is kind of mushy down here. 
Um, this little chunk is kind of mushy, so I might have to cut that off. Roots look okay, but this little chunk down here does not. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the chunk and keep whatever I can salvage. Where are my scissors? I got my scissors. Let's see, so if you can kind of see that little brown part there on my palm, that right there is, um, that right there is a little mushy. Yeah, I can see uh, juice bubbles kind of coming out of that. So we're gonna cut that off. We're gonna put some Rooting hormone on there just so it won't rot anymore. And the mix is already wet, so I'm not going to uh, put any more water on it, so it should be okay. But um, look at this we have roots here and we have roots here. So, what I'm going to do is uh, let's see. Where can I see an uh, epical bud at? Look like something right here. Look like something. That was a leaf. Okay, so what I'll do is cut right below here. Cause there are roots in there. So I'll cut right here in the middle. So I got one section here, and then I'm gonna be a little greedy. And I'm gonna cut it again, I'm gonna cut it, look like I could see something about to grow there. So I'll cut it right there. So now I got three pieces, or hopefully I got three pieces. We're gonna see how this gonna go. put it in I think I'm gonna put it all in one uh, these roots should be okay I'll cut them down just a little bit okay so like I said I'm trying to save space so all of it is going in one so I got one there I'll get some root in powder put some on there equally on here some on there too and then one more bad boy boom just like that so we're gonna put all these into one because we are about saving space Again, got my chunky mix, so I'm just putting it in there. Because it is already moist, um, that's a good thing. I'm not going to, uh, what I'm not gonna do is go ahead and water this because this is already moist anyway, so I'm gonna just wait till it's dry out to water it. You already know where this is going in the Ikea greenhouse. So I now have three uh, philodendron urinants. Pretty cool. I have the, I got name here. So what I'll do is place it on the name plate. So I have to go uh, therapy people. And then of course I'll be back and I'm gonna do a little bit more. So I see y'all and probably a little bit, probably a second to you. Okay, so I'm back home and uh, I was able to clean up my floors and stuff like that because I don't want you to think I'm a slop. But I have typically, like I said, vessels that I need to take um, 
and put, you know, mix the soil and the leka, kind of split them up, put them where they kind of need to go. And then the citrus, the plot money citrus, I still got to figure out something to do with those. I'm, I got an idea, so I'm not going to tell you just yet. So I'm going to keep that just like how it is. Um, and then this is the sphagnum moss that I got from off of some of those plants. If it was really dirty sphagnum moss, then I just went ahead and threw it away. It's not that serious. Um, and then these were two plants that uh, died. So I got to just take out the uh, pole, um, take off that tape right there. And then these two, um, these two clear pots, definitely want to reuse those. And then I have here that um, moss pole that I said I'm going to use or whatnot um, over here. Uh, just kind of give you this turn around kind of tour. Cause I want to change everything up. So over here is of course my Lex box here. That's what I'm gonna call it, the Lex box. So um, pretty cool. Uh, got my Spider-Man up there. And then of course I got my Ikea Anthurium, little kicker or whatnot. That's uh, Anthurium's in there too. If you remember my Oreo right there, uh, just kind of going around. If you kind of see this, the Cursiva has grown up the wall. This uh, Amplissimum Silver Stripe has grown up the wall. Um, my tie is doing really good. This box I want to get into um, a more lighter area because right now the plants are kind of toppling it and whatnot. So I definitely want to get that in a lighter area. Here I have my propagation boxes. I don't think I've ever really shown them, but um, a heat mat under there two boxes i got some water in there and then plants in there so that's kind of how that goes down here when i was um pretty much cleaning out the soil from uh, the regal there were some more bulbs so i'm gonna go and clean those off first um into the white meat um bust it to the white meat and then um i'll go ahead and i'll repot those and something too um some pretty big bulbs over here i want to move this right here so this one and this those are uh the pineapples or whatnot um they have never grown fruit i don't of course i don't think they would not in this type of temperature i think it got to be a lot warmer and more humid or whatnot so i'm going to take these out of here because i'm kind of pretty much tired of seeing it um i want to switch out some plants here and there all my allocations i really want to put in one area my philodendrons and my steras and whatever else is climbing. Um, either I want to get on the pole up top or down below. So I just kind of really want to take everything away and then just place them back. Some things that are in my IKEA green um, cabinet, the, uh, the the detox cabinets. I want to take some of those things out of there that are growing like extra extra big. Um, so I'm gonna take some stuff out of there. Um, I kind of like this right here so i'll probably keep that that there is a pothos that's kind of growing down here i have a cebu blue um that's growing i think i've shown this before so the cebu blue now is climbing along the wall and as you kind of see up there it's growing so i need to more than likely take that off and just put it on a pole or something like that maybe it'll give me bigger leaves or something i don't exactly know over here are my philodendrons this is my baby billy or whatnot um my uh uh jopi uh, yopi upi um it's not doing so good um so yeah this is the monstera that i chopped and prop um it's actually doing better these were the older leaves so i know that they were going to die off uh pretty soon so i wasn't too worried about it but we have stronger better leaves up here so uh definitely going to clean that up or whatnot my atababoncie has the second pole and it is growing absolutely humongous man um it'd be great to actually put it on another pole i think that that'd be pretty sick i'll probably end up moving this one over there so it can have a little bit more space and then you guys already know about my um anthuriums or whatnot um i took something down i took uh two of these down so i'll probably Put it over here and put like some anthuriums right there um got some yellowing leaves but that's kind of normal my alocasia uh, cupria got some look like some spider mites on it so i need to go ahead and treat that tonight um i don't know as much as i'm gonna get done tonight but i'm just gonna set the um tripod up 
and just try to get as much done as I can tonight. Whatever I can get tonight, uh, when I get from work tomorrow, I'll try to finish up uh, so I can get this video up. And uh, yeah, so, um, oh, also this is my pothos, my uh, Hawaiian pothos or whatnot. And uh, yeah, this one is growing pretty huge too. Um, I've had this one for at least a year or two, probably more than two or whatnot. And as you kind of see now, this one is kind of tapping into that wall too, which is pretty dope. Um, Cause it's just gonna keep giving me bigger leaves, but um, I really need to just go ahead and cut it. And then you'll see me doing some watering and stuff like that. This is the desk that I just moved so I can have a little bit more space. Typically this won't sit here, but I just kind of got this set up right here just so I can take me, you know, taking stuff down and moving stuff out the way. So if you've never actually seen my plant room, this is her. So I'm going to move some things out the way and put some new stuff up. And uh, yeah, so yeah. So, one, two, three.
So this is my golden dragon from my Ikea greenhouse, if you can remember. Um, but it's obviously growing uh, pretty insane. If you can kind of see those roots in the back, they are insane. This is growing um, wacko. So I'm hoping that it gives me the same love as it did um, in the Ikea greenhouse, but I'm going to put it out here now. So. I took everything off, as you kind of see, put it all on the floor, and it is a real jungle in here. Um, so I'm going to start to put things back up here um, and try to decorate it, and I feel like that's going to be it for tonight. So, yeah, wish me luck.
So, out of my IKEA greenhouse, I got my, I think this is a Florida Ghost, right? Florida Ghost, yeah. Um, and this one is a 696866. 6969666. Um, so, they've been in the greenhouse a lot. They seem to be kind of bushing out a lot. So, I'm going to see um, if they do well in here. Um, I need to get them on, um, on moss poles or whatnot because they're growing pretty well. But that probably won't happen right now. I'm um, just going to put them up and rearrange them. As you kind of see on one side, I kind of got like my, um, my kind of variegated side, I guess you would say. So, um, whoop, that went off. And, uh, oh, okay, a lot of things are going off in here. So, um, I'm going to keep on going or whatnot. And uh, hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, thank you for sticking around. So this is my philodendron Crassanova. I really need to cut it because of how long the leaves are. And then, um, yeah, it's just really heavy in this pot. So I'm gonna put it up there, but I'm probably gonna repot it. Um, probably snip it and repot it or whatnot. Um, really gorgeous plant. I've had it for quite some time. Um, so I'll just keep it for right now, but just know upcoming it's gonna be uh, again cut it's very langy lingy however you say it but i love this plant tell you the truth so yeah
Okay, so um, I'm liking how it's looking so far. Um, there's definitely a couple plants that I need to propagate because they're like, um, what do they call it? That uh, Langi, Lingi or whatnot, or whatever it is. Now you said on the other one, that's the little floppy kind of, it's, it got too much space in between. So I'm gonna cut it back and uh, just repot it, probably in the same thing. Um, so there's a couple plants that uh, I would love to get on the moss pole, but tonight I'm kind of tired and I think it's probably about nine o'clock, something like that. So um, I need to take a shower and uh, get in the bed because um, I got about five or six clients tomorrow. I'll try to edit a little bit of this video so I don't have to do it all in one day. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that you like it so far. Let me get out of the way. So it's looking a little bit more full. Um, I like kind of like the black pots at the top. Um, those are, like I said, from Ikea or whatnot. They're like, I don't even think they're like five bucks. Probably a little bit less than that. But it's a little bit more full up there. Let me rotate y'all up so y'all can see the whole thing, yeah. So let me get out of the way. So yeah, it's looking a lot more full. Um, I like it. I like it so far. Um, I feel like it's, I feel like I just kind of like rearranged it a little bit to a point, but I actually do kind of like where it is right now. Um, I would like a couple plants, of course, to get a lot bigger, so I won't cut them. Some plants I just have to, just cause they're just too big. So um, I want to do kind of the same thing with this area over here. And then with also my anthuriums over here. So um, yeah. I'm gonna clean up right now. Like I said, I'm gonna take a shower, probably edit a couple photo or uh, uh, edit uh, about this much right here. I see my Cupri, I need to go ahead and clean that one off. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys on tomorrow. I appreciate you. I, pre I, hope, I hope you like what I did. I hope you like the thought behind it. I hope you like my construction, my whole, you know what I'm saying? The, the whole feng shui, you feel me? I had to switch up the feng shui, you feel me? Get get a little bit more even room in here and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Cause I just want a little bit more room, you know what I'm saying? A little bit more meditation room. I might do a little start, a little yoga, uh, yoga uh, channel, something like that. You don't know. I'm multifaceted, man. I, I, I do it all, baby. I do it all. But I appreciate you, of course, for coming through. But you down to the end. So I'm going to show you how much I love you right now. This is the time that I'm going to raffle. I made it to a thousand. I couldn't do it without you. That's just to be honest. That's to be 100, right? So three things I want you to do. That's it. That's all. You're probably already doing it. You're probably already doing it. So uh, number one, what I need you to do is subscribe. That's what I need you to do. If you already done it, then you you want Thursday almost, right? Second thing I need you to do is follow Lex at Plant Life Lex. I'm giving her stuff away, of course. She might be saying something you just never know. You might need to, you know what I'm saying? And then Jasmine Lowe, cause I'm giving her merch away at the plant merch. You know what I'm saying? So you're gonna need to know when the bangers come out. That's gonna lead me to number two. Plant Life Lex has a newsletter. I need you to go ahead and sign up for that. Jamal, well, why you want me to sign up for the newsletter? She put the exclusive stuff for people who are following that. You know when the new bangers come out. I want to make sure that you get all the good stuff. But if you waiting until the end, you don't know when the good stuff is posted. It ain't for me, baby. It's for you. It's for you, Shawty. I'm just... I'm just trying to help you out. So go ahead and sign up for the newsletter. You can find it on plantlifelex.com. It's that easy. If you subscribe to her, you will see it in her page. So boom, one, two, step one, step two. It's so easy. It's, it's so easy, easy even a baby can do it. You know what I'm saying? And then number three, if you've been here for a minute, then you know my saying. 
I just want you to put a pound sign on it. Love, peace, and plants. Pound, love, peace, and plants. Down in the comment, on this video, down in the comment. And that's all you gotta do. And what I'm gonna do is just like if you watch Tropicals, um, pretty much how Tropicals do it, right? If you buy something, they put your name in a pot. You know what I'm saying? What happens is they, you know, switch it up. Boom, 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 boom. They grab it and they give out the raffle. Just like that, that's how it happened. I done won about two times, so I know it's just that easy. I bought some anyways. And then you gave me something extra. Win-win situations. I'm trying to help you win, baby. I'm just trying to help you win. You feel me? So that's what I want to do for you, okay? So go ahead and subscribe to us, number one. Number two, go ahead and follow the newsletter so you know when the bangers be banging. And then number three, pound, love, peace, and plants, baby. Love, peace, and plants, that's it. So I appreciate you again for staying for this long video. If you like this, for sure, I'm gonna finish up right now. But this video is way too long. It was way too long, so I had to cut it down and I'm gonna do the second one. So it's gonna be a part two. That's it, it's gonna be a part two, you know? Uh, I just wanna keep it at a good amount of time, you feel me? So that's why I did it this way. But I appreciate you for staying this long. I hope I hope you get to uh, enter on the raffle. I would really love for you to win something. It, it would do my heart just as if you won something, for real, for real. And at the same time, I appreciate you for being here. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting down below. Appreciate the likes because it help your boy out. It does. I'm gonna just be open and honest. It helped me out. You know what I'm saying? Put a little chump change, you know what I'm saying? Give me a little coffee and I don't even drink coffee, you feel me? But it's a little chump change, you feel me? And then we get to add to the community. I appreciate you for being here, you know what I'm saying? So until the next time, until the next beautiful time that we can share together, love, peace, and plants. <laughs>